Welcome to Bonnerong Wildlife Rescue in Hobart, Tasmania. And you're watching the Fantastic Four. So today we're at the Bonnerong Wildlife Sanctuary and we've gotten to see lots of cool things such as this koala right behind us here. I think her name, I think the guide said her name was Lulu and um, she's very sleepy right now. But um, we've seen kangaroos and koalas and later on we're going to go see some Tasmanian devils and wombats. So it should be fun. We have seen so many colorful, beautiful birds here. Um, one of the really beautiful ones that we saw was a rainbow lorikeet, and it literally looked like it had a rainbow on its feathers. It was, it might be the most beautiful bird I've ever seen, up close and personal. Um, we've also seen the frogmouth bird, which kind of looks like an owl, but um, I think they're pretty common here in Tasmania, but here, at Bonnerong, they are re rehabilitating a lot of the birds um, that we see. And we also saw some cockatoos, which we've seen uh, several of them in the wild here. But um, what is really cool about the ones we saw here today is that there was one that was digging on, in the dirt and it kicked out a bunch of dirt at both Autumn and Mitch and uh, Eden, actually. So it was kind of fun to see that. And um, yeah, so what I'm standing in front of here are the kookaburras and it was really, really fun to see these in person because we've heard quite a lot of them as we've been traveling around on Tasmania and they're called the laughing kookaburra, but we actually thought that they were a monkey bird because when they do their call, they sound like crazy monkeys up in the trees. So we just read a sign that said that they're called the Laughing Cuckoo Burrow, but also that the Bushmen used to call them, um, I think, the breakfast bird or the alarm clock bird because they usually do their laughing at dawn. So anyway, super fun to see all these native Tasmanian birds. One of the things we've learned about kangaroos is they cannot reach a part of their body that they love being scratched. And the guide said that in the wild, they actually will find kangaroos together scratching right here underneath their neck. And they usually just love it. Sometimes they'll strain their neck up high so we get just the right spot. You can see he is very content scratching right underneath his neck. and the Tasmanian Devils and I have a couple of fun facts to share about each. Um, the Tasmanian Devils have the second strongest jaws in the world, um, second to either a crocodile or alligator, I can't remember which, I think it's a crocodile though. And um, the wombats um, have a, kind of a crazy defense mechanism. They have a cartilage plate on their rear end and they dig burrows under the ground so when somebody comes chasing them like a dog um, they will stick their rear ends out of their burrows and when the dog comes in he'll try to like stick his neck in the burrow and uh, when he sticks his neck in the wombat will shove his cartilage plate up into the head of the dog or whatever's chasing him and it is powerful enough to crush the skull. Um, so that was kind of weird, I didn't know that and um, yeah just kind of a crazy defense mechanism. And um, we've had a great day here at Bonarang. Um, feeding lots of kangaroos and um, we got to pet the wombat and take a picture with the koala 
and um, there were lots of birds that we saw um, walking around and it's just a really um, nicely laid out um, animal rescue center and I feel like they're doing a good job with the animals here. Um, yeah, so it's been a good day and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Comment what your favorite Australian animal is and subscribe because we have a lot more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. Bye.